Um, you know, my, my prime objective was to have no debts by the age of 40 and I did everything I can in corporate life. I, I was the epitome of chasing fame, fortune and power. And um, the challenge is by the time I attained that, um, traveling a lot and getting home, I, I had dinner the one night and, and my, my daughter was, um, I guess she was 12 years old and um, she said something to me and I didn't pay attention. I was on my phone again because I had like seven mail accounts on my phone and she said, you know, Dad, you're here but you're never here. And long story short, by, by 2015, the damage in, in my family was so extensive that I got home and, and my wife and I didn't have much to say to each other because I, I was just never there. I was just chasing this thing and this independence. And, you know, because of that, it came at a, at a, at a bitterly high price that I realized there are things in this life that is so, so much more important than chasing financial freedom. And that changed me as a person. And uh, it carried on changing me for five years after, you know, we ended up parting in, in 2016. And it's, it's lessons I'll never, I'll never forget in my life. And um, to this day, uh, my daughter's mom and I are, are very close. Uh, she lives five k's away. I'm seeing her this weekend. We're exchanging some, some old furniture. She's bought another place. So I'm getting back some of the, the stuff. And, you know, we just made a decision. Um, a happy mum makes a healthy child, no matter what, no matter what our issues are. But the bottom line is um, that gave me a huge, a huge wake up call. And I, I fell from grace in me. And I finally grew up at the, uh, at, at the tender age of 40 plus. And, um, you know, I got a, I got a cold slap to, to realize my, my current partner, I always say to her, you know, she's got the best version of me today because I've, I've learned a lot. 